Here's to a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, let's not let our enthusiasm get out of control. <laughs> Maybe we need a good rousing song. Or, uh, no, let's uh, sneak a look at our presents. How about opening a few? What do you say, kitten? I hope you get something I can play with. <laughs> oh, here's one uh, for Kathy. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's from Kathy, and it's for... Aunt Neva. Well, deliver your present to Aunt Neva, Kathy. Merry Christmas, Aunt Neva. And I don't hate you anymore. I love you. Why, Kathy? Kathy. Kathy. Jeepers! A real regulation miracle! And it's true. Do you know what the greatest gift is, Aunt Neva? You bet I do. I've just received it. Oh, Merry Christmas, Kathy. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry <laughs> Christmas, Aunt Neva. Merry Christmas. I can't stand it. What did everybody get me? <laughs> hey, listen. pro has got a great idea. It'll be fun. We don't have any presents to open, so why don't we just tell each other what we got for each other? Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, me too, Daddy. Oh, hey, what did you get for me, Dad? Well, Arnold, I went into this toy store, and I saw something that was sleek, streamlined, and beautiful. So I let her sell me a train set. <laughs> you got me a train set? That's right. Dad, that's the nicest gift I never got. Well, Kimberly, I got that ski outfit you wanted. You did? Oh, thank you, Daddy. Mm, I hope you don't mind if I exchange it for another color. <laughs> uh, how, how about me, Dad? Willis, I got you an electric razor, so you won't have to borrow mine. Oh, thanks, Dad. Uh, Arnold, don't let me catch you using it to defuzz tennis balls. <laughs> well, Pearl, you're always saying that it's cold in your room, so I got you a beautiful, a beautiful electric blanket. Oh, thank you, Mr. Drummond. That's the next best thing to a husband. <laughs> I just supplied the blankets. You gotta fill them yourself. Oh, thanks, Daddy. These are all such yeah, lovely thank gifts. You, thank you a lot, Dad. Thanks, thanks Mr. Drummond. Oh, listen. I don't want to seem pushy, but what did everybody get for dear old Dad? <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. But listen, I want to find out what I would have been given. Look! It's our Christmas tree! <laughs> <laughs> and our gifts! Hey, Dad, there's a note attached to the tree. Yeah, so there is. Now read it, Dad. Well, it's addressed to the Drummond family. It says, your stereo, silver, and other things are in a garage at the corner of Lexington and 103rd. And you better hurry. There are a lot of burglaries in that neighborhood. <laughs> well, I don't get it. Why would they bring everything back? Well, may maybe the crooks had a change of heart. I guess the spirit of Christmas isn't dead after all. But what kind of weirdo would steal your stuff and then return it? <laughs> no. Well, no. Christmas all year. Oh, come on, Tracy, it's not that bad. I know. We'll celebrate Christmas a day later. Or in the middle of January, depending on when the bus gets fixed. <laughs> I wish we could tell Santa where we are. He'll never find us here. Strange you should say that, Chris. Very strange, because a little boy just about your age said those very words in this very place 100 years ago. Why did the boy say that? Well, see, when the first settlers built this town, all the kids were afraid, just like you were now, Chris. They were afraid Santa would never find them way out here. So the parents, they figured out a plan. What was that? Well, they, they, they made a bell. And they made a bell out of the purest silver. And that bell was so shiny, it gleamed like a beacon, even at night, and the tone. The tone of that bell 
was so crisp and beautiful, you could hear it for miles and miles and miles. So, every Christmas Eve, exactly at midnight, they rang the bell. They rang the bell to guide Santa into the town. Did it work? It sure did. It sure did. They never missed a Christmas. And people came, people came from miles and miles and miles just to see that beautiful bell. And some of them stayed. They stayed right here. This wasn't always a, a quiet, shabby, lonely little ghost town. No siree. Once, this was a hustling, bustling place. Everyone was happy and doing real well. It was a good town, too. So good that the sheriff didn't even carry a gun. No siree. He carried a, a guitar instead. He was a handsome devil, that sheriff. His name was Sheriff Swell. Not only was he sheriff, he was the only source of news. And as town historian, he sang about all the important events going on in town. He swept the streets from dawn till daybreak. <laughs> And there was a beautiful lady named Miss Bell who ran the saloon. It was a real nice place that served lemonade and lollipops. Come in. Welcome and Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. Sir. Yeah, where you get that old shirt stuff? It's frenzy. Frenzy? I, I just wanted you to meet my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Small. How are you? Mr. Hello. Sanford, the nicest nice man you. in the world, and the uh, son of Lamont. How Hello, how, how are you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, have a seat, Miss Small. Thank you. Say, you know, you, you have a nice son here. He really loves you. It was nice of you to overpay him, but to give him all those gifts for all of us, well... Gifts? Well, I got to leave now. Ta-ta. <laughs> Say, uh, thank you. Before you leave, uh, what's your first name, Mr. Small? Bob, Robert. Oh, well, I thought it might be Lou, because I see that L on your tie. <laughs> well, that's uh, one of the gifts your father sent over. He, he explained to Ron that stands for uh, love. That's right. That's what Fredzy explained. Fredzy said that, huh? And these cufflinks you have here, Ron, with LS on them, I guess that was a gift from him, too, huh? Sure was. Uh huh. Well, of course, I'm familiar with uh, that LS. That must stand for uh, his famous slogan. I'm familiar with it, but just for the heck of it, what does it mean again? Oh, it's his way of life, his philosophy. Yes, and I loved it. He even put it on the box of handkerchiefs he got for me. See? LS. Love somebody. <laughs> Merry Christmas, son. Merry Christmas, Pop. And remember, love somebody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I must give thanks to the good Lord above for giving us such a beautiful Christmas gift. A loving family and warm friends. May I ask all of my family to join us on the stage Come on. Come on, bugger. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Mr. Bookman. Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> and now, if you will join us in singing Silent Night. <laughs> 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 